Brilliant. Hello, uh, welcome to this short live session. It's going to be recorded so you can watch it afterwards. This is going to be about how to set up your trading view strategies and automatic uh, trading on Oanda. Uh, it's going to be a live recording, as I said, so it's perhaps going to be a little bit longer. Uh, if you just want to see how you do that uh, real quick, we have some more precise uh, videos for that on our YouTube channel where there is uh, this intro video on, let's see where it is, uh, to how to connect your exchange to Tickly and on how to set up the alerts, uh, which are much quicker than I'm going to be able to do it. So if you just want to know how to do it, go to our YouTube channel and watch it there. Otherwise, uh, stick around and we'll walk our way through it. And of course, you can ask any questions along the way if you're watching live or uh, comment on the video later and I'll get uh, back to you. All right, uh, let's get into it. <clears throat> so, uh, we're going to cover uh, just uh, uh, automated trading real quick. We're going to talk about this Tickly service, which let, lets you automate your trading. We're going to see how you connect uh, Oanda to uh, Tickly and how to set up an uh, automated trading for our strategy then once we have that established and get to any questions if there are any, right? Good. So, that's, uh, that's the content of the video. Watch along if you want. Um, so big intro first. So the idea is that you want to be able to automate your trading view strategy. And as you know, trading view is one of the largest uh, trading platforms in the world. They have this really great scripting language called uh, PineScript, where you can do lots of advanced stuff, a great community, lots of sharing. But uh, as a platform built in, you can't automate that trading of those strategies even if they are complete strategies, which is really, really odd, but that's the way it is. So you need something in the middle, which can then take those alerts you can set up on your strategy from TradingView and then convert that into an order on Oanda uh, that will then, you know, actually execute the trade. So we need this automation layer in between and uh, Tickly is a web service or so cloud service like that. So you don't need anything running on your own computer. Um, a little bit different from some of the other offerings out there to, to do FX uh, trading automation, but that's the way we've done it. Um, so uh, so let's just have a, a quick look uh, at that uh, so we can get this all set up for you. Uh, good, yeah. So as I said, it's it's a relatively straightforward uh, service to use. It we uh, we offer tra trading on Oanda specifically here, but also a lot of Bitcoin, uh, uh, sort of cryptocurrency exchanges, some stock exchanges. Uh, we'll be adding more along the way. And it's uh, uh, very simple. You you sign up for a, a plan, <coughs> whichever suits you. Uh, it's quite simple actually because if you want to do the forex trading on Randa, you need to sign up for the largest plan we have, level three, which is 29. So it's it's a relatively cheap service compared to some of the other offerings that are out there. We also have some smaller services, but those are just for crypto. So relatively straightforward. You just sign up for that one. But let's let's see how you would uh, set that up then. Um, so let's see what it says. It says you choose your plan. We just went over that. You need to integrate your exchange. Okay, let's do that in a minute. You need to set up alerts on your strategy. Okay, we'll do that. And then it works. All right, fair enough. That should be uh, doable. Uh, so let's do that. So uh, for this uh, video here, I believe I am logged in as a user already. Yeah, so I have already... <clears throat> Uh, a subscription here, so I've signed up. It's a very straightforward process. Uh, and then you can add your exchange. So you go add exchange, and you can add all sorts of exchanges. Let's just see what we have. Uh, yeah, let's do and because that's what we focused on here, okay? And you can give it a little name, your connection. Let's just say test connection. And then you need to enter your account ID and your API token. All right, let's get those. So I already have an Oanda account. Uh, and down here you can see on your account, you have your account ID here. So let's just grab that. <coughs> Once Oanda decides to wake up, there he is. Okay, good. 
I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste that in here. Okay, and then we need an API access token. Okay, back to Oanda. So that hides now up under tools and API. And we can create a little key that allows Tickly to connect securely to uh, Oanda to place the trades on their behalf. <coughs> one of these days. All right, good. So your key to end the API. Okay, so I need to generate that one. Good, and that gives me this long complicated number, which is very good because it is very secure. So let me just copy that and I will paste that in here. Good. And we don't all these these things because they are only for something called Apex Pro. That is not us. Good. Let's submit that one. <clears throat> all right. And then that is added to my list of exchanges. You see, I have some other ones here. But here's the test connection we just did. And that is given this little number here, what it typically calls a pointer, uh, which uh, tells typically which exchange connection to use. All right, great. <clears throat> we have our exchange connection between Tickly and Oanda. Very good. Now we need to do something about setting up alerts on our strategy. Okay, so we need a strategy to trade. Uh, good. So you'll need your uh, uh, trading view subscription, with us, which I suppose you have. Uh, and we need a strategy on here. So we need something to trade. Okay, let's just add a strategy. We have uh, a few listed uh, on our site, or also links to some of the guys who are working actively to develop strategies. <clears throat> but we have a few ones down here. Let's just uh, take one of those, for example. We have a nice little one uh, here, which is designed for uh, forex trading. Sorry. Uh, so let's take that one. And if you don't know how to add a strategy to your trading your script, it's also very straightforward. <coughs> they sort of have these uh, pages here. We can add them to as a favorite. And I have actually already done it that. So that means that it's selectable on a little list so I can pull it up. Uh, so you click here and you click add favorites. And when you click that add favorite button, if you go to your then list here of indicators on the favorites it is actually added for me down here this was the strategy ftb and i just click it uh, and now you can see it is added here as a strategy here's the back test uh, there was something about settings yes let's change some of the settings for the strategy for a little bit better results something that we would actually perhaps trade the little cog here and says to increase the stop pips to 10 and we have an equity curve which seems much better let's just say for argument's sake that you've spent a lot of time back testing this and you're confident with the strategy and this is what you want to trade uh, you can we can move forward from that but just understand that uh, Tickly will execute the strategy as you set it here, including uh, order sizes and uh, you know take profits and stop losses and all that. So one thing is that the entries and exit look good, but you also need to make sure that the en the entry and exit sizes are what you want in your actual live trading, right? So you need to make sure that okay these contract sizes and these. Uh, amounts are actually what you want for this account uh, I'm using here. This sounds a little bit high, so I'm gonna pull that down a little bit and then I will perhaps increase my risk per trade by three to three percent, something like that. That seems a little high. That seems a little high. Let's just do it like this. Good. Uh, let me just check. The list of trades one more time yes that seems that seems better okay so if i want to actually automate the execution of this uh, strategy i need to select the strategy and i click the little 
add alerts. This strategy has both uh, alerts and autofills. I only need the autofills ones. And then I just say test strategy. And then in the message field, you will need to copy in a standard um, alert format, which is listed with each of the exchanges. And so if you just want to copy the performance or the, yeah, do the exact traits of your strategy, you just copy this, this little bit of uh, code in here. Uh, where was I? Where was that? Hey, there it is. And we paste that bit in here. Notice you get a little green check mark, which indicates that things are probably all right. Good. Uh, send emails intact, and you need to enter the webhook URL of the Tickly service. For me, I've just I've already entered it. You can also see it down here. So you just need to copy this uh, URL. We're using the straight IPs, just so we're sure that we're good. And click create. And that is it. <clears throat> now, whenever this strategy wants to make a trade, the exact same strategy will be executed uh, on your uh, OANDA account. Uh, and that's it. that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. So there's no configuration of the bot. Uh, on the tickly side, there's no setup, there's no limitations on what you can do with the strategy. You can do literally whatever it wants, and uh, tickly will, will will mimic that behavior. Of course, uh, Oanda has to allow it, so if you don't have the funds for the trade, you'll be rejected, right? And so forth and so on, but essentially that's it, we're done. Uh, it'll work uh, flawlessly and, and seamlessly from here. And you'll get little emails uh, from Tickly if you want to <coughs> each time it makes it makes a trade. Uh, if you want to have this DA disabled with this account, so it go like this and like this. Good. Then I'll get little notifications uh, as well on Tickly whether the trade was entered or not. Uh, notice that I uh, entered here a a. Uh, a test account you can do of course both a test and live accounts and just enter the the, the account information and typically will find out whether it's a live or a test account and send it to the the appropriate uh, inputs so it'll trade uh, that is it again if you want to learn more we have tons have tons but we have quite a few guides here on the website of, of how to do it and you can see also this process that we went through uh, in uh, in more details on, on how to do it where to click and all that stuff if you missed it uh, there are some more advanced options uh, if you want to uh, we can go over that as well um, but this will be just fine I think one thing we can do before closing down actually is let me just show you the what was in those alerts I set up because it's perhaps good to understand what that is. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, so the elements is so the standard message essentially has five elements, right? And they're all based on using the standard uh, trading view placeholders uh, that will, are replaced uh, by the actual values on each and every alert. So the first one is the ticker. Uh, what is it that you want to trade, right? So that will be replaced when it, an alert is sent with this value here, right? The Euro USD pair. So that tells us that that's what we want to trade. The action part here so tells particularly what you want to do, whether it's a buy or sell, basically. Uh, the previous position is something we use to figure out whether uh, you want to make an entry on exit so that we can do open only orders for entries and we can do uh, reduce only orders for exits uh, to make sure that there's not any confusion if for some reason the two fall out of sync. Uh, quantity straightforward, uh, how many is it that you want to buy as we saw here, right? The last trade this strategy would have made would have been for these 43,000 Euro USD uh, contracts. 
that's the quantity that will be sent uh, as is using the leverage setting currently set on your exchange uh, bop, 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 bop. and yeah and as i said the final bit here is the pointer which uh, is again a tickly internal thing which links the uh, the exchange to yeah, to tickly so which exchange is it essentially that they want to trade it on because you have, can have multiple uh, tickly account connections perhaps for your live and your your test right but also if you have an apaca account or a binance account or anything like that they'll then they'll essentially have different pointers will you'll be able to see uh, on your little <clears throat> list of uh, exchanges you see here right that that each bybit has this pointer for me specifically for yours it'll be different it's a generated number of course this is my binance connection another bybit connection i have and this is the yoanda connection i just made uh do, 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 do. yeah good uh, there's a 30-day free trial uh, try it out see if it's something for you um yeah at least it's it's a relatively straightforward option and it's really 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 fast <laughs> we've tried our best to have fast execution by far the slowest part of the chain is trading view but uh let's see if it can get them work faster so yeah there you have it check out the other videos on the channel for more detail check out our guides on the website and um, happy trading right